In the heart of downtown Baltimore, there is a space for aspiring artists to find their voice, for couples to become husband and wife, aspiring dancers to perfect their steps. WMER 2 News' Eddie Kadem took a tour of the Downtown Cultural Arts Center as they let you know we're open, Baltimore. There's a space for kids to come and just dream and make their dreams come through. The mahogany room of the Downtown Cultural Arts Center. It's the realization of Rennie Bass's vision of a home for Baltimore's performers to grow up in. It was really, really picking up and we, we, we felt like we was becoming integrated with downtown Baltimore. The pandemic devastated the event venue just when they were starting to hit their stride. They shut down for a short time. Now at 50% capacity, they're still holding affordable birthdays, weddings, comedy shows, and everything in between. Our business is the business of people, of bringing people together. So once we weren't able to, to bring people together, our business suffered. I mean, the downtown culture our center really, really suffered. We're suffering now. This is the Imani room, the Imani hall. The three-story building is built on hope, and they're bouncing back. It's very important for our kids to be proud of who they are. You're African American, be proud of that. And not only be proud of it, do something to be known to be proud that you're proud for your, for your race. Get in the history book. So there's a lot going on inside, but outside they're doing a lot of stuff too. This lot right here, they soon will fence it off, make it a COVID friendly event space. This food truck, it was donated by Ellen DeGeneres. It's a vegan food truck. You've probably seen it out and about. And every Thanksgiving, three years running, they've been doing a food giveaway. Something so the community still feels like they have a place to come to. And also because with the pandemic and everything that's going on in the city, it gives you an hour or two to just come and sit back and just chill for a minute. Lady J runs a magazine and is partnering with the owners to promote a proud black owned business. This is the What Up Baltimore magazine. This is our magazine. We'll put you in here. The whole thing with me, um, Eddie, is to try to make Baltimore a better place, you know, to make people I travel a lot and every time I go somewhere and they say, they see I'm from Baltimore, they hear me say Baltimore, the first thing they say, oh, how can you live there? You know, oh, the wire. You know, so the, the whole thing that I'm trying to do is just to bring, a, when people think about us, they think about us differently, that we do have great stuff here and we have great people here. A creative space for people of all walks of life to meet and share ideas, open and ready for anyone to become a part of the dream. In downtown Baltimore, Eddie Catum, WMAR 2 News.